so we started api integration so the gate api integration somehow i recorded in hindi i almost forgot like how i started in hindi so that whole gate api video is in hindi but same thing i have covered in the post api also like how do we do that gate api call uh, gate api call integration over here so we were seeing the fee tracking project and inside that batch is the api what we are doing right so all the crud apis are over here so till now what we did the gate api integration we have integrated from the gate api we are getting all the batch list and that we are displaying over here and using this we are able to create the new batch also now so next thing is edit and the delete right the put api so if you check the api here you have this api we have already integrated this is the put api what we need to integrate put api is for updating the existing record right so in the table we have got this edit button so on click of edit whatever the record you click on edit that record should be populated over here okay so for that what we need to do let me open this side by side dot ts code on the right side HTML code over here. So here we have this edit button. Now on click of edit, click on edit batch. Let's create this function. But while calling this function, we are going to pass the whole object also, which record you are going to update. So that ID, the whole record, I'm going to pass it over here. Fine. So here I'm going to get the whole object. So data colon. The data type will be batch record only. So interface I will provide over here. Now, what once you get the record, that record you need to store into your new batch object because this variable you have bind it to your form. So data you will bind it over here. Let's save, save and save. Let's reload now. So what is happening in, so you see one issue is there. If I reload the page by default, table api called uh, table is not showing the data but if you check the network call api call is happening see api call is happening we are getting the data also but it is not displaying it in the ui why because we created a normal variable right because our by default application is zoneless so instead of now instead of creating normal variable you have to go for a signal only okay so instead of this we will create a signal now copy is equal to signal what type of data we are going to store batch array we will initialize with empty and this we will comment so now this is the signal right how do we access the signal as a method and whenever you are updating the value so batch list dot set method if it was a normal variable you can update directly but signal you have a set and the update method. Let's see now. So if I reload, now you can see the records are visible. So now from Angular 21, make sure whenever you are creating a variable, always it should be signal, right? Because zone less is there. Change detection won't work. Fine. Now the update. So once I click on update, see the data is getting populated. Just the date is not coming. We don't need the date also. So let's remove the date date is only going to be changed on the first time only so let's comment it so whatever the record you are clicking on update edit that record is getting populated okay let's try to change so once you are changing it over here here also it is changing see this is happening because it keeps a reference of it so we have to detach that reference how you do that so what you do here you create one more variable local or let's say string data whatever the object you get that you convert into string we need to detach that reference so that's why i'm converting to string so this data whatever you find you put it over here now whatever the object you got that you converted into string again you need to convert it back to the object str obj again json dot parse method and what you need to send the converted string object over here and this newly object you need to assign so by doing this you are detaching the reference of it now it should not behave like that so if i am c if i am changing it over here it is not changing over here previously it was changing over here also okay now whenever you are doing the update thing first on click of edit you need to get the record and you, you need to populate the form right this we have done 
on click of edit whatever the record you are clicking that is getting populated over here now the update for update you have a different api but the, while calling the api you have to pass the id also right so api url is the same just method is post but while you are doing the api integration you have to change the method also so you know we had this save api i'm just copy pasting this instead of save it will be on update batch url instead of post it is now put but put api need the id also slash id means your batch id primary key let me close the ui and here slash batch id also you need to pass in the url so plus this dot batch id okay so this will be url and batch updated success and once you save and once you update you need to again call this function so that your ui will get updated record visible let's quickly check it but one more thing is there let me show you what i'm talking so on the page load this is in the new mode so we are getting the save button but if i'm clicking on the edit instead of save we should have the update button right so if you are clicking on the edit instead of save you should show the update button so how do you do that the same object you can use it so here now instead of just one button you can have one more button you will have at the rate if your new batch object dot id if batch id is zero means you are creating a new record so you will show the save button over here and in else you will show your update button so for update button we will just add some extra color let's say instead of success warning color and update batch and here the separate function on update batch for update fine let's check it now so if i reload so by default you can see we are getting the save button if i click on update you see we got the update batch let's say the string record we are going to modify let's check the api call also so let's say new batch evening on click of update one api call is there and batch updated success after api call again our get api call will trigger see and you see new batch even whatever the name you have added that is visible so this is your update again see it's just an api call right you have to see the url what object you need to pass does it need a parameter in the url like that you pass see in url we needed to pass the id so that we passed like this okay now the last thing is delete right so for delete you have this delete button now on click of delete you have we will call a function click on delete batch let's check the api call first key how is the api what we need to pass so here what you need to pass just the id means par primary key batch id which which record you need to delete right so that you need to pass it over here okay method will be delete and the id you will pass so from this item what you need just the batch id you don't need the whole object so i'm passing just the batch id copy let's create the function now i will just copy paste the same code put it over here now method will be delete and you don't need the object so let's remove it because you are really same see you are really same for all the uh, methods batch deleted success there is a problem let me show you first okay uh, we are passing some id so that we didn't catch it let's catch it id colon number and this id you have to pass it over here whatever the record you clicked on it that you will get it over here but currently if we on the click of button we are directly calling the function and in the function we directly have the api call to delete the batch but let's say user by by mistake click on delete there is no stopping right so we don't directly call the delete function we ask for a warning we show the warning are you sure want to delete or not is confirm just a local variable i'm using you know that confirm box from javascript where you can show the message so are you 
sure want to delete. So if user said yes, because we get OK and cancel button. If user click on OK, here we get true value. So if it is true, then only we need to run this API call function. Otherwise, we don't need to do anything. Okay, let's check. So see the API call, okay? Currently on the page load, we just have one API call. Now let's say if I click on the delete, we are getting the pop-up. If I click on cancel, no API call is there for delete. If I click on delete again, if I click on OK now, see the record got deleted. And again, the gate API, so that record, let's try this one also, delete delete see understood so this is your delete api call also so delete api is call delete api call is relatively so much easy if we compare our update and the post got it this was a very small form but the same code will be there obviously according to the various api in table you will have so much of data in form you will have so much of data but basic approach will be stem now so in this API, what we completed, put and the post. Now what we can cover. Our get API, post API, put API and the delete API is completed. So basic current operation is complete. This we have done with our uh, template form, right? Now we have to do same operation I have to do with reactive also. And then I have to explain the services. Then I will go for a signal based form. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for now, we will stop this video over here. In next episode, what I will do, I will create one more uh, instead of bash now because bash doesn't have any so many fields. So what we will choose from this inquiry, create inquiry. Let me check what things we have it over here. Mm, project competition, register. Here also we don't have. I'm checking another API which we will be using. Our competition. Yeah, this we can use. So for uh, reactive form we will be using this API project competition and the competition API we will be using fine so there I will be explaining the same crowd operation with the reactive form whole operation again and uh, the services also fine so if you are new please do like and subscribe if you have not joined my whatsapp community if, if you are there are four communities just join anyone if you are already there no need to join it again if you are not there you can join it okay thank you I hope you are liking my content so please keep following.